Danielle might very well be the worst wingman in history. Another relationship for the Merrifields bites the dust. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk about this teaser clip that I saw on Twitter. It was teasing the next episode of Seeking Sister Wife, which will premiere tomorrow. So this is a little bit of a spoiler alert. You know, I would call it a minor spoiler alert because the clip is public and that is what we're going to talk about. So to absolutely nobody's surprise, the relationship with Leah did not work out for the Merrifields. It's been a few months now since we were in California. Leah didn't seem that keen on um, kind of balancing work and family life. She's very career driven. Leah finally reached out and ultimately she just wanted the relationship to end. There was just too many go breakers for me. I didn't really feel like I had any choices in the relationship. It didn't feel as genuine as I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. You know, like I had enough options, enough choices. It was kind of really your way or the highway. So, you know, it's just best for us to go our separate ways. Okay. May I just say that we are definitely living in an age where I believe that ghosting is typically the easier way out when exiting a relationship you no longer want to be in or a, you know, maybe relationship. It was quite refreshing to see, I have to say, that Leah had a conversation with the Merrifields. She got on FaceTime and she explained, this was a red flag for me. I didn't like this. And she told them she was very honest, like this was not going to work out. I would like to, you know, not talk to you guys anymore. I found that quite refreshing. And I'm not gonna lie, if I were Leah, I'd be tempted to ghost the Merrifields. And this is not the only update we get from this teaser clip. We also get a status report on the relationship with Roberta. Well, hopefully after three years, Roberta will be here shortly. Roberta's visa has been fully approved, so that means she can travel to the US. Getting Roberta here, it's been a really long process. Um, Roberta's been dealing with a lot the past, oh gosh past year. She's also dealing with her mom who's in her 70s that has a lot of health problems and she did not have good internet cell service. Um, the communication definitely changed. Dramatically. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know, you know, Roberta means well and I know she loves us, but sometimes it's just challenging not knowing what's going on. I have a lot of thoughts here. First, I noticed that they did not specify what kind of visa Roberta got approved for. I just found that quite interesting since we have been speculating. I've seen it speculated on Reddit that would the Merrifields be committing immigration fraud if they brought Roberta over on a K-1 visa. So I found it quite interesting that the type of visa was not specified. And all in one sentence, in the same breath, they talk about how Roberta didn't like that they were dating around, that she has a sick mom that she wants to be close by to, and they're unhappy with the sparse communication that they've been having with Roberta lately. If I had a sick parent, I wouldn't be moving to another country. So I totally understand where Roberta is coming from. And the Merrifields are boo hurt that Roberta isn't going above and beyond in, you know, trying to get a better Wi-Fi connection or make contact more often. But they're literally dating around and she told them that she was uncomfortable with that. So... I mean, what do they really expect her to do? I think it makes sense. When we saw that FaceTime call between Roberta and Garrick, it was very obvious that there is a strong emotional connection between Roberta and Garrick. Danielle acting as this sort of wing woman for Garrick is really serving a dual purpose for her. She gets to appear that she accepts polygamy and she is down with the lifestyle. And I think that she is intentionally pursuing women that she knows are not going to like her husband. <laughs> I think Danielle knew that Leah was not going to be attracted or form a connection with Garrick. 
And she's also actively sabotaging the only other real connection that Garrick has. Garrick has a connection to Roberta that threatens Danielle. Danielle turns the tables by becoming super enthused about polygamy. Danielle turns into Garrick's wing woman. And Danielle seeks out women she knows will not be attracted to her husband while simultaneously driving a wedge between Garrick and Roberta. Honestly... I'm a little impressed. Also, let's talk about the fact that nothing is happening to bridge this language barrier. They have been together for three years. They're filing all this paperwork. They're getting divorced. But Danielle and Garrick know next to little Portuguese. I think for Roberta, that's a pretty telling sign too of just how committed they are to you as a person if they are not even willing to learn your language. And Roberta does know a little English. We know that Roberta doesn't have contact with the Merrifields anymore, and now things are donezo with Leah. I'm gonna make a prediction. I think that if we see the Merrifields court another sister wife, it will be on the show, and it will be only for the show. The Merrifields were just posting about their recent anniversary trip to Mexico, celebrating 15 years strong, even though they've been divorced for the last two. I think that they're gonna be living monogamy for the long term. I have no problem admitting if I'm wrong here, but I would be shocked if they successfully add another sister wife to the mix. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.